I want to tell you that having Ida's painting on the cover of this book is a dream come true for me. And I, I consider it a miracle. Um, I was looking for a cover for my poetry book. And of course, I was on the internet for hours and hours and hours for months and months and months at a time. And, um, and I found, found Ida's work, and I found this painting. And I, I showed it to my husband, Ricardo, and, and we both said, my God, that's, that's it. That's it. This, this expresses your whole manuscript, all in, in this beautiful artwork without words. And so um, I decided to take a chance um, and write you an email. Had no idea what was going to happen. And I just tried to tell myself that um, all you can do is ask. <laughs> <laughs> and if she says no, she says no, and it's not meant to be. But if she says yes, what if she says yes? And so you did say yes. So uh, I've been thinking about this moment for uh, probably the last year or so since I found out the book was going to become published. Um, and I couldn't be more honored. Um, and I also just want to say that the manuscript actually had a different name. Um, and my editor, it was called Cave Walk. And there is a poem in here called Cave Walk. And my editor said, you got to get rid of that title. <laughs> and I was very committed to that title. Um, and uh, back in the spring when uh, poet Francisco Alarcón came to Washington, D.C. for a poetry conference, he and my husband Ricardo and I were having coffee, and I, um, you must have had your cell phone, and we showed Francisco, look at this painting that's <laughs> going to be on the cover. And we noticed that the name of the painting, the title of the painting, was In the Company of Great Spirits. And my husband said, oh my god, that's the title of your book. <laughs> so my editor made me take out the word great, and I'm really glad that she did. Um, because I think in the company of spirits collects all of the people that are in here. So, um, so I thank you, Ida. It's such, such an honor.